All right, come on, settle down, please. Answer your names. Anus. Ass bandit. Bottom. Clitoris. Where are you, Clitoris? Doo-doo. Enema. Fist up. Come on, grow up, please. Genital. I'm sorry. Genital. Herpes. Still with us, I see. I'm a dick. I'm a dick. Enema, you know I'm a dick, don't you? Ejaculation. My prick. Has anybody seen my prick? Come on, somebody must have seen my prick. Very well, remind me to beat my prick when he does that. Nice and quick. <laughs> On top. Pube. Ah, my prick. So good of you to turn up. <laughs> yes, well, now that you are here, my prick, perhaps you'd like to find a seat. Bottom squeeze my prick in somewhere, though. <laughs> Rigid. Our Russian exchange student suck me off. <laughs> Tight fit. Up your sh. Vulva. Your prick. And zipper. Zipper. Absent. Now then, boys, the headmaster has asked me to speak to you this morning on the subject of smut. <laughs> All members of staff have noticed an alarming increase in the use of silly humour and puerile innuendo about the school. Rigid, fist up, bottom, out. <laughs> there have been some disgusting doodlings on the walls of the lavatory. Sit up straight on top. <laughs> One or two unpleasant health magazines have been found. If you fall asleep on top, I shall be very annoyed. <laughs> and Mr. Hardon tells me that there's been a great deal of sniggering in his biology class. Take it, heaven's sake, leave your prick alone. <laughs> I don't care, your prick had no business poking into your desk in the first place. I will not put up with this kind of behaviour, boys. And neither, I must warn you, will Mr. Grit Big Hardcock. <laughs> This is a school for the sons of gentlemen, and the theory is that one day you will turn into gentlemen yourselves. That is, with the exception of genital, who appears to be turning into a ferret. <laughs> so, there will be an end to this second form toilet humour, where so much conversation is just devoted to smutty doublon tendre, do do suck me off nice and quick detention Saturday. <laughs> Right, I'm going to the staff room now. But if I come back and catch herpes in the corridor like the headmaster did yesterday, <laughs> well, then there'll be trouble. 